Geek 23. We're reviewing fiction and fantasy books for teens and tweens. Today I'm going to be reviewing Keeping Velocities Everglaze. As said before, this is one of the few times I have not actually gone off topic. I'm actually doing what I said I was going to do. And, um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. I mean, what else is there to say? I did my intro. I... I'm going to move this fan in two seconds. Just give me two seconds. Okay, there we go. It's just, it was pointed right at me. I mean, how long can you do that? I'm sitting in my room. Um, I'm a perfectionist. This must be turned around. Okay, I, I'm sitting in my room recording, and the fan's right in my face. It's not fun. Like, I'm warm because I live in Southern California, but... I don't need that. So, I just got off topic. Let's get right back on topic. So, um, yeah. So, Keeper Velocities Everglades is the third book in the Keeper Velocities series, continuing Sophie Foster's quest to um, find out how, um, to find out, like, what this evil group is and why they did what they did to her and so this um this one sophie is finally settled in um she's leading a normal life with the elves which is as close to normal with the elves as you can get so she's living pretty well and then this rogue elf breaks out and he's a pyromancer i think is what it says I'm not too good at, like, words that involve knowing, but I, yeah. I think it's, he's a pyromancer, so it's his special talent, because Sophie has many special talents that's his. So, um, he goes rogue, and he burns a lot of stuff, explodes a lot of stuff, and some very crucial people to Sophie's world may or may not die. So, yeah, not too good for Sophie, and it eventually ends up, um, actually, I'm getting into a more comfortable position, I'm not comfortable the way I'm doing this, but, um, Sophie ends up, um, she ends up joining a group, um, that she thought she would never join, but she's joining it now. So, uh, yeah, unexpected change of events. And, um, yeah, so pros and cons about this book. Um, awkward silence. <laughs> um, pros, it's interesting, action-packed. It's another book in the Keeper Velocity series. And, sorry, I'm itching. It's just the fans still. But, um, so, it's another book in the Keeper of the Lost City series, which is always good, because Keeper of the Lost City is a really good thing to say. So, um, yeah, it's fun. It's usual Keeper of the Lost City's air. So, that's good. Bad stuff, she loses someone close to her. Um, I guess... It's kind of sad. It's more sad than Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile or Keeper of the Lost Cities. So, yeah. And also, if you want to see my book reviews on Keeper of the Lost Cities and Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile, just go to my homepage. Um, it might be a little far back, but you can go to playlists and the whole Keeper of the Lost Cities series. And all the series that I do will be on my playlist. I will make playlists for you. So, anyway. Um, so yeah, those are the only pros and cons about it. I can't really think of much, but yeah. It, it's just normal for Keep Your Velocities. So with all that said, and that, okay, yeah, just checking in my head that I have everything done. So now, let's get on to the stats. So. Um, yeah, so 
it's Keeper of Lost Cities. I mean, Keeper of Lost... Yeah, Keeper of Lost Cities. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, Keeper of Lost Cities Everblaze by Shannon Messenger, because it's Keeper of Lost Cities. Shannon Messenger is the author of Keeper of Lost Cities. So, yeah. Um, it was, it's published, it, it was pub, it was published in 2019, I mean, 2019, 2014 by Aladdin Publishing, and it's pretty obvious, but I have to say this just to go along with what I'm saying. Uh, it's in Keeper of Lost Cities, and I've already said it's the third in the Keeper of Lost Cities series. So, the page count. Once I say this, I know that you all are looking at this on the screen. Yeah. Um, my estimation about how many pages Keeper of the Lost City is average is, um, I'd say that's completely wrong. Age recommendation, I would say 10 to 16, but I'd say if you're an advanced reader and you're a 10, go for it. But mostly 11 or 12 to 16, because, yeah, I didn't realize it would be 609 pages. Can you believe that? I think Lord of the Rings. I don't have it back there, but um, I will do a review on it. Um, but, yeah, so, edge recommendation. I just said that. I don't know why I'm repeating it. Um, my thoughts, sad, funny, interesting, action-packed. Kind of a little, a little confusing. And the sad, the sad, so the way that I do these points. Confusing, it's maybe minus one star. Sad, it's minus like two sometimes. It depends on how sad. But in this case, it's only minus two stars. Um, so confusing one star, sad one star. So if you can do the math, which I would assume if you're watching this video, you can do math. Um, three stars just because because I, I don't like it when it's sad I mean some of you might not think it's sad sad but to me it's kind of sad so yeah I don't know it's your opinion so yeah that will end me talking about Everblaze today but um I have a few new things to say um Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos. It really means a lot to me because I've only been posting videos for about, like, I think two months. So, And I've already got ten subscribers. So thank you so much, those who have subscribed. Um, yeah, if I had merchandise, I would plug the merch right here, but uh, I don't. So, um, uh, yeah. I'm hoping I can get some sort of website so you can get all the books that I reviewed. I'm trying to figure out how I would do that, so that might be coming soon. And um, you're probably wondering why is, if, if you notice, why is Aragon here? And why is the strangers here? Well, if you think about it, those two books both got five stars. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna put all the five star books up here. So, um, yeah. And then, yeah, that concludes this video. I've still got to do my outro and all that. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. Um, come back next week. Actually, actually, there's one more thing that I almost forgot to say. So I am torn between doing two, between doing a book. So if you want me to do uh, the rest of the Aragorn, Aragorn series, I'm not, I'm not going to do each one. I'm going to just do the Aragorn, I'm going to do the whole Aragon series because the books are so good. I don't want to give every single one five stars and I'm already hitting at what I'm going to give the whole series. And I kind of want to have a completed series. So if you want me to do that, comment um, Aragon series in the comment section below. If you want me to do The Wonderling, which is actually a pretty big book. Uh, let me check how many pages. Uh, about 400 and... Yeah, exactly 450. So if you want to, if you want me to do the Wonderling, um, comment Wonderling um, in the comment section below. So 
I'm relying on you guys to tell me what I should do next. And also, if you have any book review ideas, uh, just go to the discussion on my channel page or comment in the comment section below this video or any other videos that you're watching. Comment um, the author, the name of the book, and um, if it's in a series. And if it is in a series, please comment the name of the series. So again, thank you for watching. Come back next week. Comment what I should do next week. And um, I'm the Book Geek 2030.